Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Cher. I typically blog uh, beauty, lifestyle, and parenting disabilities. Today's episode is a beauty episode and I am going to be doing a five minute makeup challenge. This is a challenge I actually accepted from a fellow YouTuber friend. Um, I'm going to link her info down below, but her channel is Jenny Escobar. So I'm going to link her below so you can find her YouTube channel. She is fabulous. Make sure that you go hit her, give her a subscribe. And also joining with this challenge are other fellow YouTuber and friends. Go check out all of these very talented people. I'm putting all of their information in my link below too. So we're going to get started now. I don't know how this is going to go, but it's kind of fun to see if I can do my makeup in five minutes or less. I don't know. What do you think? I'm, I need to do like a little vote. Maybe I'll do a vote in my stories over on Instagram, which by the way, if you do not follow me there, I am at Share Shares Beauty, linking it for you and linking it below as well. So give me a follow over on the Instagram page. Um, I tend to post pretty much anything that I do over here on the, this channel too. And um, I am going to have a little fun here trying to see if I can do it or not. Do you think I can do it? I think I can do it, but I think it's going to look minimal and sketchy. That's my vote. I don't know. What do you think? We're going to see. And um, let's get started. Okay, I've removed my makeup. And I'm not going to start the timer yet until we are ready to bust the move here. And I don't know if it counts if I should have all my makeup ready. <laughs> and I'm planning to wear I don't even know what look I'm going to do. I'm just going to like go where I'm feeling inspired. We're going to even make it even more challenging for five minutes. So we're going to see. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to set the timer. I don't know if I can do this. Normally my makeup routine, even it, with my everyday routine that isn't like super fancy or anything, is still way more than five minutes. It's probably like 15 minutes, maybe 10, 10 to 15, somewhere in there. And that's with like fairly minimal every day. So five minutes is going to be a challenge for me, but we're going to start. So you ready? On your mark, get set, go. We're grabbing the Urban Decay Naked um, Weightless Makeup. I can't remember the name of it. Something like that. It was just the first one I grabbed <laughs> and I am throwing it all over my face instead of Applying it delicately, we're just trying to glob it on in a hurry. Tarte Shape Tape, my go-to all the time. We're gonna do this really fast. I was trying to do my normal little application, like what I talked about on my Instagram, but I was going in a hurry and just went everywhere and not even taking time. I'm just throwing it on my eyes and it was way too much. And look, I got some in my hair. Yeah, I put way too much on. Gotta try to fix it with a beauty blender. Moving on to brows. I think this is Revlon. I usually do like a drugstore. Um, brow for like everyday look and I'm kind of just going with that everyday look on this because I figured it is so much easier for a five minute routine. Coming in with some Juvia's Place setting powder, just dabbing it over the eyes because I still have to do that. I should have ignored this part. I really should have. It would have saved me a little time. I've thrown it on with my fingers this time just to go really fast. And 
going to grab the first eyeshadow palette on top, which was my new Huda Beauty Lilac palette, which I am loving so much, and I figure it will go with my purple. I just grabbed it because it was the first one I saw, and purple was perfect. But here's the challenge of trying to do an eyeshadow look really, really fast. And here is what took up so much time was I lost my eyeliner, couldn't find it. So, but this is e.l.f. eyeliner, recently got this and I'm digging this as my new drugstore. now for some mascara. I really hope I can have time to do lashes, but I don't think so. And what really stinks is I've got like major lash glue mishaps going on in my lashes there, but I don't have time to really sit and work with the mascara to help even it all out. So mascara is really crappy. That's the um, Essence Lash Princess, by the way. Now we're moving on to my Little Saint palette that has like all-in-one contour highlight and all that. Throwing on some contour and throw in on some blush. About to attempt lipstick. And ran out of time, I didn't make it. <laughs> No lipstick and no lashes. But here's some of the look. Uh, realized I also didn't get to do highlight and I really didn't get to do as much of the contours I wanted. So a little closer look at everything. Not terribly perfect. Eyeliner is kind of <laughs> spotchy. Brows are kind of spotchy. Not a lot of contour and blush going on that you can see needed to build it up more and foundation in my hair. <laughs> see? All right, well that wraps it up, obviously. I would say that it was probably a fail. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. I could go out in public looking like this. I just am a little incomplete. It's definitely not a full makeup routine and definitely not perfect. There's a lot of things that I did not take the time and skill with, but again, it would, this would work. I could, you know, I wouldn't be too embarrassed to go out in public with it. So very everyday look. Um, I don't think I could do this with an artistic look. <laughs> um, so maybe it was cheating a little bit to pick an everyday look. I don't know. Those are much easier, but my lips do feel very dry and empty and naked. They need some lipstick. Oh, well. <laughs> Well, anyway, so I don't know, what was what was your thoughts? Did you think that I was going to do it or no? Let me know in the comments. And this has been fun. So until next time, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you don't uh, miss any more fun videos like this.